All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wayne's Work Vlog. On this episode, this is going to be the most comprehensive LS1 swap video series, compilation, playlist, whatever you want. So, we're going to cover everything. I mean, literally start to finish. We've acquired a car, a donor, if you will. It does not matter what you get as long as it's not a Corvette because the... Corvette has a tranny in the rear. It's a trans axle diff. Anyway, you don't want to mess with that. This, though, will have a motor, a transmission that will literally bolt into anything, just like a big block Chevy, small block Chevy, 350 V8. This will go into literally anything as long as you can make it fit. And I mean sledgehammer, welder, whatever it takes. These go in Miatas. These go into MGs. It's literally whatever you can shoehorn it into. But you have two options. If you've seen any of my other videos, or you know Bob from Pikes Peak International Raceway, you can cut the bodies right off of these things to where it's nothing but the frame rails and the seat mounts and the firewall, etc. But you still have the suspension and the, you know, the brakes and the performance of a Z28 Camaro, but way less weight than you could tube it, like the Corvette race car cart. You could take an older body and drop the body down over it like Bob does with the old Datsun pickups and the old Datsun station wagons or like uh, this guy here. I'll put a link to him that was on Hoonigan where he dropped a 52, I want to say, 52 style line onto a chopped LS400 Lexus V8. It sounded awesome, but same thing. I could cut the whole body off of this. I could weld the body down on top of it, or I could gut it and put it into literally anything else like you've seen me do with the 56 and the 54. That being said, since this is going to be an attempt at the most comprehensive LS1 swap, like I'm going to show you everything, how to make the fuel rails adapt, how to modify your own harness, how to HP tuners flash the computer so it you know the key works everything i will show you every single step and if there's anything you can think of along the way go ahead and put it in the comments now i'll add it to the list of things if i haven't thought of it already that way i can be sure to cover any of your questions before you have them all right so so far any questions put them in the comments if you have any concerns or like things you really really specifically need to know make sure you put it in the comment or i may just forget it and not cover it i'm going to try my best to cover it but there's a lot of steps, and again, depending on which way you go, whether it's a body on or a motor swap or whatever, there's going to be some differences. I will still try to cover all of them. If you're going to do this, then do that. If you're going to do this, then do, you know what I mean. So, like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, keep on modding. That's fucking right, brother.